Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Michelle and today I want to talk about why milk is not racist and it never will be. Now, I bring this up because someone seemed to make a video about Born Vegan did. And I mean, like, this was back in 2016 where Milton Mills went ahead and said that milk's racist because it's white therefore it needs to be taken out of the dietary recommendation system or whatever it was so she has three points here whether they're good points it's honestly up to you but they're not that good to me i mean like you know, possibly the people behind these industries could be racist, but she claims that milk itself is racist. I mean, like, last time I checked, milk can't talk, doesn't have a brain, doesn't cause violence, which makes it, words make it sound like it actually is violence that milk is somehow violent when it's not you know you have a choice of drinking milk or not so yeah she talks about how it's racist to black people that lactose intolerance varies between races which is you know of course you know for black people they probably migrate as a fair amount you know what I mean my great family, it wasn't, it wasn't like they just, and you look at white people in the past, they had big cities and that, so they were like, they didn't migrate too much. Obviously that's when they built places and that, got the tools and that. Um... So she says that if you've got lactose intolerance, tolerance, you're not a baby kid. Many mammals produce milk for their for their young. It's not just cows. I mean, like if you say you're not a baby anymore, you're not a baby. Uh, second point is that we push dairy onto children, onto black people and people of colour. It's not just people of colour. Society does not care. If you're black, white, rainbow, blue, purple, they will recommend you foods, doesn't matter what colour you are they usually push these foods for nutrition nutrition i don't think it's the food pyramid has ever really been about what's the most healthiest thing i mean eating six to twelve servings of grains is not healthy 50 like 50 to 60 grams of whole grains should be all you're having you know what I mean? It's the, that's the most you should be having. That's a hundred percent of your R, of, of of your RDI for for grains, whole grains. Okay, so and then she mentioned again, depends on race migration but not all humans just stayed within one spot um yeah eat drink dairy no no it's not health it's not healthy um i guess not nutritious either i mean like the the whole entire thing of Anything you eat as a 
you know, you can be vegan and be healthy because all the vines and minerals that I made are also also in plants. Well, you've got to eat more. Well, for meat, you don't have to eat as much food just to get the same amount. So, more volume of food. Um, so, and then she calls this systematic racism. No, it's not racism because this is pushed on everyone. Not just if you're black or Latino. Now, that was the second one. Second point. The third point is industrial farms and slaughterhouses located in communities of color. Now, she didn't say those exact words, but but it's around about what she was saying. So she was saying that you know there's so many health problems with industrial farms. Now, if you live by, I'm sure. You may have some problems, may increase some things, may increase sickness, maybe. Um, but, but, and, and that these farms, these slaughterhouses, are actually in the, some people call it the hood, I think. Um, well, it isn't exactly the best place to live, and it's very cheap. It's like, it's like contanning. Contanning is very cheap. You don't have a lot of people there. It's like a thousand people. So, so yeah, the reasons why these farms, these slaughterhouses are these because it's cheap and as we all know, they're not the best maintained places, are they now? Not best maintained. It's not like there's an inspection once a year or twice a year, you know, and... Obviously, we need better farming practices. Slaughterhouses shouldn't really be a thing. Nor, at, wait, not, not, but definitely factory farms should not exist. They should be non-existent and not a part of our diets or our culture. So these were her reasons why she thinks it's racist. Now, I didn't go ahead and add everything that she said into this because it'd be way too long and I know that people don't and will not watch this video till the very, very end. But if you've watched it till the end, well, congratulations. I'm happy that you watched it and listened. I like it when people watch my videos from the start to to the end. It does make me happy. It makes me happy, but not a lot of people do that. Yeah, these are my my opinions on why dairy is not racist. Her whole entire video reminded me of a doctor, well, supposedly a doctor, maybe it's a doctor, I don't know, um, but I think it's Milton Mills, the one that said, we don't have large canines like a lion, or well, gorillas have canines, maybe for defence, but still. Um, and I think he said in a conference with, you know, the Dietary, American Dietary um, Association or something, I can't remember. But he said, milk is white, therefore racist. Okay, milk is not racist based on colour. I mean, like, this is white right here. 
I'm even white. Because of my colour, does that make me racist? No, it does not make me racist. I can't help what colour I am. If I could, I'd want to be more of a tanned colour. Anyway, that's all for this video. I hope you liked it. Leave a comment. Leave your opinion. No, I love when people leave their opinions, but please don't attack. Don't attack. Be civilised. After all, that's what this channel was about. It was about civilised between vegans and meat eaters. That's what I wanted. And that's always what I wanted. Anyway, see you in the next video. Bye.